Max Verstappen has won the Imola Grand Prix. He's been screwed. Yep, he's been screwed. He had Leclerc to beat Norris. Red flag out the windy. But before we get into that, let's go down the classification. So Max for Hamilton, Norris, Leclerc. Norris, Leclerc. Um, <laughs> Sainz, Ricardo, Stroll, Gasly, Kimi, who's under investigation. Ocon, Alonso, Perez, Shinoda, Giovinazzi, Schumacher, Mazepin, DNFs, Vettel, Russell, Bottas, Latifi. Well, at this stage, Vettel should just retire, play the championship, and go home and sit in Germany for the next nine months because he's. Vettel was bad, but I don't think he was the worst guy on the track, I'll be honest. I think that belongs to Valtteri fucking Bottas. Mm, well, Mazepan wasn't exactly great either, was he? No, but I think the Haas is awful. Well, it is awful, I don't think. I know it's awful. I can give two rookies. Oh, speaking of Valtteri Bottas, he's. But anyway. Yep. Look, we'll, we'll dive straight to the incident. Him and Russell. I, think I don't think it's his fault. I, I, I think it's Russell's. I think Bottas is entitled to. I think it's. Over. I think with Total Wolf said it's about a 60 40. I do. Well, I mean, I, I don't think it's. I don't think Bottas deserves to lose. Initially, I thought. I, I, no, he won't. He's lose the seat. Like, like, let's be real, right? Bottas could have got a, a samurai sword at the car here as Russell went and cut his head off. He shouldn't be here. He should be up the fucking top. Look at Hamilton when he dropped in here. I know, he right finished the second. second. Bottas, like. Same the same position. See, see, see when this it's like Monza last year. Whatever position he is, he just seems to stay there. He doesn't move up. See, see when this race well, stops. Halfway through, right, I get it. It's hard to overtake in the rain because there is no DRS. But at the same time, if you have a superior car, you don't really need straight line speed in the wet. Yeah. There's no excuse for how bad Bottas was in the first half. No, no excuse. If, if Kimi does get, um, he's the only guy who actually made a meal of overtaking Gasly early on. Uh, yeah, I know, and if Kimi does get a penalty, then that means Alonso will secure his first point since returning to F1, which will be interesting. If he can do that, then you know what? Great. I just think we'll, we'll cover at Alpine here. They're not, it's not a good fucking car. No, I think they've probably got the eighth best car in the grid. I'd yeah, seven for eight. Seven for eight, yeah. I'd say it's seven supposed to be Alpha Romeo. Seven for best. Um, yeah. Yeah, probably seven, like, but I mean, I thought at the start of. There were going to be a battle with like um, Austin Martin and Alpha Tori, and I definitely don't think that's the case. I know. Um, well, the fact that Stroll's getting into Q3 and Alonso ain't going to be. You know what, we'll, we'll do it by teams then. We've kind of did. What we did there? What we did? What did we do before then? What we did? What are you on to do by teams? Refute by the teams. I think that's the easiest way to do it. With the race? Aye. Oh, that's too loud. Um, Go ahead, go ahead. Well, right, well, we'll, we'll, we'll cut back to the half then, the two fucking jobs. I mean, this car's awful. Loads of spins, loads of instance, front wing. Yeah, these, guys, the these guys are just racing themselves. This is like time laps. It's garbage. Yeah, there's not much to actually say about these ones. Um, Williams, George Russell, like we've said, was he at fault? I think it's about 60 40. I see his point. Doing that straight. Do you not? Aye, I see his point. What's your fucking problem? I see his point. Oh, is that alright? Aye. Is that alright for you? What about Latifi? See, he has a point as well. What's his point? He hasn't got any. <laughs> well, there's about 10 people on this guy that don't have any points, guys. Well, I think Russell could have got points today, but we'll never know. Well, well Latifi actually, actually took out. Um, Ma well, Mazepin took out Latifi, but it's because Latifi didn't leave him any fucking room. You know? Doesn't matter. Fuck him, doesn't get in. Right, right. Doesn't get in. Boom. Right, what else? Where are we next? Alpha Romeo. Right. Alpha Romeo. Uh, Alpha Romeo right. Good from Kimi and Giovinazzi. Giovinazzi got shafted. Had the pit. Yeah, I mean, there wasn't much to pick between Giovinazzi and Kimi. Even if Kimi doesn't get, even if he gets some took, it was a good drive. It was a good, that was a good drive. Um, up next we have Alpha Tori. Um, Pish. to forget. Shinoda. Why they kept Gasly that long, guys? Yeah, I, don't know, I, I mean, Gasly, I think, legit could have been in the fight for the podium the day had they just kept them on the intermediate tyres from the get-go, they tried something different. I mean, I don't know, in my opinion, they Al tried Tori have got the third fastest car and they've, they've got nothing to show for it. They've got a couple of measly points. Do they have the third fastest car? I'd say so. Well, you know, they must be shit then. Well, they must be. Right, well, I'd say they're, they're closer to McLaren and Ferrari than they are anyone else. Well, I wouldn't make them third fastest, like, I could make them fifth. Yeah, it could, but that's what I'm saying. They're in that battle with these two, but it's just that these two have the, the first fastest car. Well, so I, I, in my opinion, they would. Right, so Shinoda must be shit then. I would, well, what's he done that's shit? 
Well, if he's got the third fastest car, he's not doing anything good with it. Well, it's fucking Neaver's Gasly, you could say. Oh, Neaver's Gasly. Right, he lost his front wing in Bahrain, pissed, didn't even do it, didn't get points enough. I look like he's done qualifying. Hey, but look at Shinoda in qualifying. Hey, what? Hey, what about him? He's done a few, well, he, he crashed it this weekend, which is pissed, but last week he wasn't too bad. Hey, next team, go. Um, Aston Martin. St- Stroll is going to smoke Fettel. I said, did I say this at the start of the season? People are saying Stroll's a pay driver, you all these Fettel fanboys are making it as if he's the greatest thing to ever lace up a F1 wheel. Stroll didn't do anything great today, but he got points and he just sat, he, I mean, he, he held his ground, got points, no mistakes, just... Stroll's decent at best and he's, he's fucking embarrassing Fettel, so I mean, that tells you, Fettel needs to go. Yeah, that tells you everything. Next up, we've got Ferrari. I'd say both were great. Well, Kirk should have got second here. He's been shafted. Red flag shafted him, so we've got Valtteri to thank for that. Signs good drive. I think Signs was really quick. A few mistakes, though. So. Yeah, I think Signs was impressive today, and um, I honestly don't get this. So he's, he's struggling to play for it. How can, you, how can you praise Ricardo, but, you know, bash Signs? That makes no fucking sense to me. But uh, I Signs unlucky today. I mean, Ferrari. On another day, could have had a double podium here. Yep. You know, Hamilton lucky to come back through. Norris got a bit lucky at the restart there. I, thought, I think Ferrari had the pace actually to be ahead of McLaren. So definitely. Next up, we will talk about McLaren. Mc- Ricardo, I don't think it was good. I think he was no, pretty pissed. He was, he was, even at the start of the race, he was holding up Norris, and as soon as the team said team T E A M E. Or the ERS. You models. joked about it at the time, but yeah, as soon as that never started, happened. Like, I mean, Norris was like literally a second a lap half faster a lap, so yeah, and Norris. It was, it was a good drive for Norris. It was good. It, it was, and you could argue best you know, defense against Hamilton. It, yeah, they actually kept Hamilton behind for about five laps. You could argue that if it wasn't from the wee minor, you know, infringement on the track yesterday, they'd be starting third anyway. So. Maybe Norris deserves the podium, but I still feel like it's a bit harsh on Leclerc, but still, I mean, Norris is a good driver, he's proven that. Yep, and next up we have, well, they Red Bull. Great from for start, I'd say. I predicted a 1-2 here for Red Bull and I got half it right. You know what, if Perez doesn't spin late on, it could have been, but I think Perez is a shiter today. Yeah, I mean, yesterday he gets second, it should have probably been pole, and you're thinking, oh yes, Perez. We're going to take... Uh, I just wanted a dry race today. I want. I, I just wanted to see how... We, we still don't know. We're two races in. We still don't know what Perez is going to be like. No. I want to know, like, in a dry race, by the time they get to the first pit stop stint, I want to know where Perez is going to be. But we don't We don't know that now because today it was raining and I don't, I don't think Perez has ever been that great in the rain, to be honest. But today he did kind of... He had pace, though. It's, I don't know. At the start, it just... He fell, he fell way back at the start of the That, that whole... He gets shafted by the whole the ten second thing, which yeah. allowed Norris to overtake him, which is a game with shaft at you. But yeah, Max, great. Perez had pace at times today, but it's just too many mistakes. Yep, and uh, the final team, another contrasting day. I mean, uh, Hamilton's mistake, guys. I called it amateur when it happened. It was, it was awful, but like he like he proves how much Bottas should be doing when Bottas is starting lower down Hamilton when he does job it he gets straight back up second I'm, I'm not surprised people can say it was a great comeback but realistically I knew it. I, he's, I, I, he's against inferior cars here yeah I would have been surprised if he went on to win it to be honest with you I would have been a surprise but it wasn't out of the question I mean, so if Bottas was in Hamilton's predicament he would have finished about 6th Honestly, the only thing that surprised me about Hamilton finished second was he didn't get there quicker. I'm not surprised. As soon as, he, as, as soon as the red flag happened, they unlapped themselves and started ninth. I'm just thinking, I mean, this guy's getting set back to second, no problem. And he did. Fair play to him. And honestly, I reckon if Bottas was in the exact same position after the restart, he'd have stayed ninth. Which is, you know. The sums up foul, Terry, but overall, it was a pretty good race. It did peter out towards the end. It's much better when it was raining, wasn't it? All right. Brilliant when it was raining, um, dry not so much. But I uh, could race, looking forward to the next one. I think it's Portugal. Uh, it is. Port am I? Pronounce it, you fucking spastic. 